long before modern observatories, before Galileo looked through a telescope, African civilizations were already mapping the cosmos with astonishing precision. The Dogon people of Mali described the Sirius star system, Sirius A and Sirius B, centuries before the second star was discovered by Western science in 1970. They spoke of a dense invisible companion star orbiting Sirius, what astronomers now call a white dwarf. How did they know? Oral tradition? Ancient contact? Lost instruments? The world still debates. But what's certain? African sky watchers were far ahead of their time. In Kemet and Nubia, the stars weren't just beautiful, they were clocks, calendars, and divine messages. Priests tracked the movements of Sirius to predict the flooding of the Nile, while temple pillars aligned perfectly with solstices and star risings. The ceilings of Dendera Temple are filled with constellations. This wasn't superstition, this was astronomy etched in stone. In East Africa, the Oromo calendar used lunar cycles to structure time. Along the coast, Swahili navigators read the stars to cross the Indian Ocean centuries before European discovery. Africa's sky knowledge was vast, used in farming, spirituality, navigation, and healing. Africa didn't just look up in wonder. It looked up with wisdom. The stars were teachers, and Africans were their earliest students. Africa's Blueprint Episode 3 Mapping the Cosmos Before the Telescope Up next, Episode 4, Metal, Fire and Genius, The Blacksmiths Who Forged Civilizations